So much has changed since Donald Trump's 2019 visit to Downing Street, including the Prime Minister. But the new government will face the same old challenges as they navigate one of the world's most powerful and unpredictable politicians. Top of the agenda, how to protect trade amid the threat of tariffs. Of course, officials will be considering lots of different scenarios, but the position of the government is that we support free trade and we support the trading relationship between the United States and the United Kingdom. It's a very strong, very fruitful relationship, both for us, but also for uh, the American uh, economy. And of course, we want to protect that and strengthen it in the years ahead. Defence spending is also in the spotlight, with US funding for Ukraine now under threat. Pressure is building on the Prime Minister to say when his target of 2.5% of GDP will be met. These are political choices that this government have chosen to make. We understand they've got a strategic defence review taking place, and that's right and proper, but they may not even seek to reach that level until 2034. I think we need a stronger West right now, and it's imperative that the West in particular unites yeah. around defence spending. This is a very tricky moment for this Labour government because the last time Donald Trump was in office, they were in opposition and they were very critical, calling him everything from a sexist predator to a sociopath. Now they're rapidly trying to repair the damage and to build bridges because so much rides on that relationship, including the future of the UK economy. The Labour government will likely lean on the royals to smooth the transatlantic relationship, an institution that has long charmed Donald Trump. It may even lay the groundwork for that elusive trade deal, something Theresa May made some progress on, enduring some awkward moments along the way. We want to trade with the UK, and the UK wants to trade with us. That was then, but does it still apply? Now US voters have been promised a new era of protectionism. The next president has a very warm feeling towards the UK. It's not the ultimate target for these tariffs. And there will be an opportunity uh, for the UK to re-enter trade negotiations as they did four years ago. We've been here before, but a Trump presidency is always unpredictable. And with two months until he takes power, the UK, along with the rest of the world, will be waiting to see where it takes us. Liz Bates, Sky News, Westminster.